means it's time for a new video blog. I'm serious. It's happened now two weeks in a row. Hear that barking in the background? The landscapers are here. And when they are, the dogs go absolutely insane. And I really, I try not to be here, but I have work to do today. And it's not the type of work that I can like take on a laptop and go to a coffee shop or something. It's like design work and illustration work. So it's, it's here on my iMac with my tablet-y things. I uh, just got back from a thing. It was kind of an audition-y thing. Um, I really don't want to say too much about it because uh, it's sort of not... It's one of those things where there's no point in talking about it unless it happens. And if it doesn't happen, I don't want to like ruffle any feathers. So I shouldn't even be talking about it. I should edit this part out. Anyway, uh, the Las Vegas Comic Expo was this weekend. Uh, if you didn't go and you like comic books, What's the matter with you? Unless you don't live near Las Vegas, in which case, you're fine. It was good, in general. Uh, I think it's gonna be coming back next year. Uh, it wasn't awesome for me. It didn't sell a lot of books. We sold a lot of Tales from Fremont Street and Tales from the Boneyard, which are two books featuring a lot of Las Vegas-based creators, most of whom happened to be there at the festival. So that was kind of a good selling point, like, hey, buy this and go get it signed by all these people. Um, but Outside of that, I was doing a lot of like doling out advice to people who want to get into the industry, looking at portfolios and taking like blind pitches from people. It's one of those things where like I like running a comic publishing company so that I can publish stuff that I think is cool and that I think the world needs to see or should see. But I hate the sort of and it kills me because <laughs> I know that like I just sent out two pitches uh, on. Thursday or Wednesday um, I've been working on for like about a year with various artists and like I understand as an editor and as a publisher what it's like to have to field unsolicited pitches and feeling like you're obligated to have to read this stuff and feeling bad about turning people down. I know how annoyed I feel sometimes when people just come out of nowhere and they're like oh hey I want to do what you do how do I and you're like look I, I, I'd like to be employed so if I tell you how to do what I do, then there's less for me to do. But I am a nice guy, and I like to help people out. So anytime anyone asks me for advice, I will chat them up. So going down to California tomorrow to see one of the final performances by She Wants Revenge before they go on the semi-permanent hiatus, indefinite hiatus, whatever. Anyway, I'm really excited to see them. I haven't seen them since, I think, it's been, I think, since either 2010. It had to be 2010, I think. I went to see them opening for Psychedelic Furs, and they only played like five songs. <clears throat> and that was kind of sad. Uh, so, yeah, I'm excited to see them. There's going to be some special guests, supposedly. Uh, but it's sad that it's going to be one of their last shows. And that's probably the last time I'll see them perform. And there's no more good music. And this is one of the bands that have defined sort of the soundtrack of my life for the last, uh, you know, five, six years. Um, good times and bad. The most recent album was something that I think, it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't a lot of positive songs, but I associate it with, like, My Good Life Now. Uh, their earlier stuff was kind of dark and uh, very lovelorn, and I associated that with a dark and lovelorn part, you know, of my life. Yeah, it's one of the few bands I've connected with as an adult that, like, I dig everything they've done. And I, they never put out a bad album. Even when they went off and did, like, this weird electro-funk BP, uh, I dug it. But then again, I also like Prince and Justin Timberlake, and that's what it sounded like a melding of, and that's fine. So anyway, if you're in L.A. and you like She Wants Revenge and want to see him before they go away, I think there's some tickets still left for Friday, which is tonight, but uh, I know Saturday sold out, and I'm glad I bought tickets when I did. So there's that. Uh, it's at the Roxy. You can go find details or whatever. Outside of that, I'm just playing serious catch-up. My office, you can see behind me, it's a wreck. There's boxes and paperwork everywhere. Just between the comic shows and getting ready for the next comic show, and art shows I'm getting ready for, and shipping comics, and printing comics, whatever. It's it's a wreck, and that's what happens when you have a home-based operation. So I need to get that cleaned up at some point soon. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for, you know, watching this crap, and uh, maybe I'll write a real blog someday. No, I won't. No, not going to happen. I'm just going to talk to the camera like this, and you're going to like it. And I'm going to go eat a clip right now. All right, peace out.